Hello guys, so I wanted to start this vlog out by apologizing for this video being so short. I know I've mentioned that in previous vlogs, but um, this one truly is really short and I was debating whether or not I wanted to actually do something this week, but I did have the footage that I captured this week, so I figured I would do it. And also, I've been trying to stay consistent because, like I mentioned before, my past channels, I never really stayed consistent. And even though I don't really have a lot of subscribers, uh, I'm really enjoying it. And I think, if anything, I'll enjoy watching this back. And I really, really enjoy studio vlogs and I want more people to do them. So here I am doing it. So, I'm currently moving and this past week we had inventory at work so long story short I really didn't have a lot of time to do a lot of work in my shop so yeah this is me creating a do no harm um, because I was kind of listening to my husband's conversation with one of our co-workers and I try not to watch a lot of news and things like that but obviously I do know some things that go on in the world and I'm, I'm just like one of those people that it really affects me. Um, I call myself an empath, so I guess I'm like a self-proclaimed empath and things really bother me um, also. So I decided to make a post on Instagram saying I'm doing no harm. And then I liked it so much, I was like, you know what, let's make it a t-shirt and see if anyone would be interested in wearing a t-shirt. Um, this is do no harm that way you can kind of spread it if you're like me and just want to spread positivity I guess <laughs> even though if you met me you wouldn't think I'm the most positive person but um, yeah things really affect me and I try to always stay positive even though it's really hard to do but moving on I decided to do these little black flex in the do no harm font um, well phrase because I thought it would look really cool printed on an all black shirt and I only offered this on an all black shirt but I guess you guys can let me know if you would be interested in it being on like a different color shirt Feel free to comment below and kind of let me know what you want to see from me um, coming up. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this already because this is the second time I'm doing this voiceover, but we are moving into a townhouse in the same complex that we currently live. And I'm going to have more space. I'm going to have um, two rooms myself because my husband is super awesome and he's letting me have our new extra room that we're going to have. So I'm going to have more space to have my office. Um, not so squished in with my reading area also so let me know if you want to see any content relating to that um, obviously I don't have a lot of subscribers or commenters so I might just do it if I feel like doing it um, I guess I'll see but yeah I'm really looking forward to making more content for this channel stepping a little bit away from just doing studio vlogs even though can I say, I wish there were more studio vlogs on YouTube. Like, I'm constantly searching them, and sometimes it gets really annoying because I think YouTube always wants to push out, uh, I guess, channels that have a ton of viewers and subscribers, but I want to see a lot more. I want to stop seeing ones that are like six, nine months, year old, or two years old. But yeah, if you have a channel and you make studio vlogs, even if it's not like you don't have an Etsy shop or if you have an Etsy shop and it's something different I'm still interested so comment down below but I decided to finally make beanies with pentagrams and tricortas sorry if I'm saying that really weird tricorta you know but um yeah I figured it would be a nice like simple beanie I don't know why I didn't think of doing it before like I I thought of it a while ago but I have no clue like it completely slipped my mind I don't know 
but um, I might also do the triquarto in the shot glass. It reminds me a lot, and a lot of people you might, oh my god, I can't even speak. A lot of you might think of it as like the charm symbol, which all-time favorite TV show. I watched it since the very first episode it was aired. Um, in case you didn't know, I'm 32 years old. But yeah, Charmed is still one of my all-time favorite TV shows, and it does remind me of that. And uh, me and my sister are planning to get a tattoo of the Triquarta. Um, not just because of it being a charm symbol, but we both just really like the symbol. But yeah, it's going to be in a beanie now, and it might be on a shot glass. I definitely want more things on shot glasses. So let me know what you guys think, and thank you so much for watching this vlog.